because the fight has finally arrived and we can definitely say this is not going to bury call of duty however however i do think that there is room in this ecosystem for a free to play first person shooter for that's not battle royale and that isn't something that is tied to a 70 dollar purchase right so with that being said the game is very straightforward we're all very familiar with loadouts attachments you unlock them as you go along the way yada 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 so on and so forth very straightforward very similar to what we expect a competitor for the call of duty series my personal favorite thing they have done with this game is that they've included some of their other ips such as the division ghost recon far cry 6 Splinter cell and also Watch Dogs 2 which is isn't there one that came out after anyway uh, there's a lot to be said with how they're gonna integrate their ips and how all, they're also going to move forward with the game itself i think there's a lot to look forward to right i i also believe that they're going to drop like an Ezio skin that we're going to be able to play as like an assassin's faction and uh it's it's very refreshing is what i'm trying to say this is a very refreshing take on the multiplayer genre i also think that there's a lot to be said about the battle pass as well this is a free to play first person shooter I want to note that things like this are usually tied to a $70 purchase. It's not very often big studios like Ubisoft, Activision are going to release a game like this for free. So the store and everything that comes along with it, I, I get it. I understand. Ubisoft is greedy as hell, but they still, you know, they did it, right? The game is finally out. To me, game feels good. Refreshing. Uh, a lot to be said about the unlockable characters as well as the grind itself there's a camel grind a weapon grind and you can also grind to uh to unlock the dead sec faction at around 700k xp which is a lot but you know it's a grind right all that to say uh i think x defiant is definitely worth playing and adding to the mix again it's a free to play first person shooter now that something like this is out from a big AAA studio, how is this going to push the ball forward when Activision or even something like uh, Battlefield, right, comes out to compete? Again, these are normally blocked or we got to usually pay big money for this, right? So what's going to happen now that this has become a, a new normal? This is free. So we'll see what happens. And yeah. I personally look forward to playing as Ezio as an Assassin's Faction. I'm calling it right now. But again, check it out. Let me know what you think. And uh, I'll see you out there. All right.